Good morning. God bless everyone again on today. Good morning. We are so glad to have you again on this beautiful Sunday. We say to you, God bless each and every one of you. Our Facebook family as well as our teleconference line. Amen. God bless you in a great big way God on bless. this beautiful second Sunday in the month of April. My high time has flown. Amen. But we are grateful that the Lord has strengthened us through all of this the pandemic that we are going through, the Lord has strengthened us, has raised us up, has taken us to higher planes in Him. Yes, there were some times that we uh, went through uh, the valley of the shadow of death, but we are so glad that, that we didn't remain in that valley. It's all right to have a valley experience sometimes because when you come out, we come out as pure gold. I'm so grateful on today to be able to stand before you again, looking to the Lord and listening to his voice. And we are certainly going to enjoy uh, what the Lord is going to bring to us today through our pastor of the Miracle House of Prayer, Pastor Lois Jean Coleman, will be our keynote speaker on today. So very shortly, we're going to present her to you. But meantime, we just want to say thank you so much to the Miracle House of Prayer and your uh, everlasting support uh, while we are waiting uh, uh, on the repairs uh, to our church from uh, the uh, weather storm back some weeks ago, we had some uh, damage and that's being taken care of. But meantime, we are so glad that we yet have uh, two platforms that we can get the word of God out to each and every one of you. I want to say to all of the Miracle House of Prayer churches, God bless you. Continue to be vigilant. Continue to be sober. And continue to be steadfast in the Lord. May I say also to the full gospel, Fellowship of Concerned Pastors, to you, be ye steadfast and unmovable and always abounding in the work of the Lord. We are grateful that we yet have communications. We just don't get together uh, in the building as that uh, we are used to, but we are grateful that we yet have uh, communication, fellowship, prayer, and the love of Christ. So we are so uh, grateful for each and every one of uh, our fellowship uh, churches. And I just like to say today that uh, we are going into higher places with the Lord. I uh, want to encourage you, uh, people of God, that uh, as we uh, go through this pandemic, some of us uh, have uh, received some heartaches and uh, we have uh, some lost ones that went on to their, uh, not lost ones, because they're not lost, because they know Jesus, but they went on to their greater reward. And we want to let you to know that we are yet holding you up in prayer. We're not going to forget uh, that the Lord is able to keep us. The Lord is able to strengthen us. He is able to heal our broken hearted, our broken hearts. Glory to God. And so I want you to look up today. Look to the hills. 
for which your help cometh in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, now, we thank God for the word of God, and uh, we're going to just uh, quote a few uh, scriptures this morning, and I find that the word of God builds us up, and it takes us higher. It takes us a place that we won't falter. It takes us a place that we won't get weak. Praise God. Uh, so as I uh, quote a few scriptures this morning, and as you listen, uh, find uh, the one that will bring you strength, the one that will bring you joy, the one uh, that will bring uh, you victory. I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. I once was young, but now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. We thought these scriptures will build you up this morning. It will help you prepare for this day as well as for uh, the days to come. I will lift my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. Oh, I know someone can relate to that scripture. Before our help cometh from the Lord. Our help. Because why? Jesus can help all of us, all of his people, at the same time, and we all will have our knees met. Oh, what uh, omnipotent God we serve. Oh, power. We are grateful uh, for the power and the anointing of uh, the Holy Ghost. For God, has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Oh, that's a mighty powerful scripture that we should quote every day because why? It builds us up in the power of the Lord. We are so grateful for these particular scriptures that we quoted on this morning. And you might be watching at home uh, uh, and you might want to just quote your own scripture. And you, if you do that, amen, uh, that scripture that builds you up and uh, uh, that favorite scripture of yours. Uh, uh, because the word of God is that that we are going to always Need For in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. So that means that Jesus and God, uh, the Word, uh, was in the beginning together. That's all, uh, amen, St. John 1 and 1. That, that, that's what it means right there. Oh, as I said, we are, we are excited. Uh, the more of these scriptures that I quote, the uh, 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 the more I feel the joy of the Lord uh, bubbling up on the inside. Hallelujah. And there's something about the joy of the Lord. It overflows and it can help uh, someone else. Praise God. So we are so uh, grateful for this opportunity to be with you again on today. Like to say again, uh, uh, we welcome all of our Facebook family, as well as our teleconference family. And uh, also, we want you to uh, communicate and co correspond uh, with uh, Bishop and Pastor Coleman. Uh, and you can write us at P.O. Box 681-973, Houston, Texas, 
77268. You can write us there or you can call the prayer line, uh, which is 1 uh, uh, 800 870 3414. And we'll be so glad to hear from you. And we will take time to correspond with you. It won't be just uh, one way, but it will be two ways. We will correspond uh, with you uh, with this uh, P.O. Box number that I just quoted to you, as well as uh, our prayer line number. Welcome to share uh, with us, and we certainly will share uh, with you. Also, we want you to continue to be a financial blessing to this ministry, the Miracle House of Prayer, 604 East 38th Street, 77022. And you can even write to the church if you so desire, and we will get the mail through the church. So all of these avenues of, of corresponding with us, it shows you that we are looking to stretch out in the ministry. And you are certainly uh, welcome. And also, uh, you can cash out us at uh, dollar sign MHPTC. God bless you. God bless you today. And we are looking forward to, uh, all to a high time in the Lord today. I'm so grateful at this time to uh, present to you uh, the vessel of God that shall speak the word of God to our souls and our spirits on today, the pastor of the Miracle House of Prayer, none other than my lovely wife, Pastor Lois Jean Coleman. Praise God. Thank you, Bishop Coleman. God bless you, our honorable bishop on this morning. Praise the Lord. I'm just glad to be in the service of the Lord. I do honor the Miracle House of Prayer, all of its leaders, its uh, organizational leaders. We honor you. We thank you for your faithfulness to the house of God. We thank God for our Facebook audience on today, and we just praise God to have a voice to go through uh, the systems, the video systems, to have a voice to lift up the name of Jesus because he is worthy to be praised. I'm just thanking God uh, for the Easter season that we just came through it was so beautiful. It just left my heart filled with joy. And I enjoyed so many services that I was able uh, to attend by uh, Facebook. I enjoyed so many ministers and I applaud you in the name of Jesus Christ. I enjoyed the Easter speeches from the little children. The Bible say, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, mm -hmm. he shall not depart from it. Amen. Praise God. And what's on my heart this morning is part two of it's a highway to heaven. Amen. Because the Lord Jesus Christ, he don't want anyone to miss heaven. It is not his will that any should perish, but that all should come uh, to eternal life. Yes. Hallelujah. And we bless the Lord for being a risen Savior and that's concerned about his people. He always loved us. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son mm -hmm. that whosoever believeth in him, won't you believe in him this morning that you will not perish, you. but you will have everlasting life. Everlasting. I would think scripture, Isaiah 35 and 8, and a highway shall be there, mm -hmm. and a way. Yes. And it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, mm -hmm. 
the fool shall not err therein. My God, he has made a way. It is so much violence going in. We're in the midst of a pandemic, hallelujah, and we're losing souls, hallelujah, but I want the souls to be saved. I want them to know how to reach the Lord, yeah. the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. You need to be ready. You need to be equipped yeah. to meet our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. A straight and narrow way to heaven. Mm -hmm. Matthew 7, 13 through 14 say, Enter ye in at the straight gate, mm -hmm. for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go therein, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And there be few mm -hmm. that find it. It's a narrow way to heaven. We don't want to be on the broad way. I have heard this since I was a little girl. My parents taught me. The broad way, hallelujah. That's a way of destruction. That's the way of the world. And we don't want to be on the broad way, hallelujah. We want to be on that straight and narrow path. And the Bible says, whosoever try to come into the kingdom, mm -hmm. except through the gate, through Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. they are a thief and a robber, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The act of entering through the wide gate can be likened to walking in agreement with the world in its ways. I don't want to be in agreement with the world, but I do want to love the people of the world that I might impart Jesus Christ into their life. It is easy because the world always embraces people that don't ask questions. Mm. Don't agree with the world system, hallelujah. Live a pure and glorified life, hallelujah. Because it's easier to give in to the peers, you know, to the peer pressure. Mm -hmm. It's easy to follow the world, but to stand for Jesus is a narrow way. I want to stand for Jesus, hallelujah. And that's all we have to do is give our life to him. He'll do the rest. He'll live through us, yeah. hallelujah. He'll yeah. live through us. Yeah. And our children, young people, the Bible say to obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the earth yeah. that the Lord thy God give it to you. Yeah. Praise. It's a straight and it's a narrow way. Hallelujah. Yeah. But it's the best way. Peer pressure, peer pressure is not easy right. because it's, it's just not resisting. Hallelujah. But you got to stand and resist. Yeah. Even on the campuses, stand and resist on the college campuses. Yeah. Hallelujah. In the elementary schools, in the junior high schools, stand and resist. Yeah. Remember what your parents taught you. Yeah. And that's why, parents, you are to bring them up in the nutrients and the fear of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The Bible say to resist the devil. I want my young people to pack that on the campuses, resist the devil. Yes. The Bible say in James 4 and 7, submit yourselves therefore to God. Mm -hmm. Resist the devil mm -hmm. and he will flee from you. Yes. Did you know it was like that? Just resist him. Hallelujah. Resist the devil. You don't have to do what the other young people are doing. In the name of Jesus, you are the engine and let the other people be the caboose, mm -hmm. the followers. You are the engine. Resist the devil on the campus mm -hmm. and he will flee from you. Yeah. Draw not to God and he will draw not to you. Right. Cleanse your hands. This is what the Bible say in verse 4 and 8, James 4 and 8. Cleanse your hands ye sinners, yeah. and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. You don't have to wonder, shall I go with the world? Shall I go out on the campuses? You don't have to wonder that. Resist the devil, yeah. and he will flee from you. Yes, yes. This is a beautiful life. 
This is a beautiful life, having Jesus Christ as your leader, having him in the heart. Hallelujah, it's a beautiful life. I know one minister on TV, she has a ministry that says, enjoy everyday living. Hallelujah. I'm enjoying the, my best life. Hallelujah. I'm enjoying opening my mouth for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. I am enjoying my church. Hallelujah. I am enjoying my church in the home. Hallelujah. I'm looking forward to going back into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God so we can dance. Hallelujah. You know, I was laying on my bed uh, yesterday morning. Hallelujah. And I began to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because I can hear. Take the shackles off my feet. Hallelujah. So I can dance. Hallelujah. I can feel a breakthrough in my spirit. And I say to you, it's breakthrough time. Yeah. You can dance for the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. We've gone through. Hallelujah. Oh, but I see victory. Anybody see victory? Yeah. I see victory. Hallelujah. In the midst of the pandemic, I see victory. Yeah. Because the Lord said, take the shackles off your feet oh, okay. and dance. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Back to James 4 and a submission to God is in itself an act. If you just submit to him, mm -hmm. it's an act of resisting the devil. Mm -hmm. If you do what you hear God say, if you do, that's why you hide the word in your heart. That's why you meditate on the word. That's why you learn the scriptures. Hallelujah. And if you do what God say do, that's a form of resisting the devil. Mm -hmm. He say do evil, you do good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Lord. He say Keep hating your heart, you release it. You tell the Lord, hallelujah, that you love everybody, hallelujah, and we can walk in holiness and he'll flee from you. The road to, uh, to heaven is narrow because it doesn't allow anything to pass on this world upon it. It don't, la it don't have the the cares of the world, hallelujah. It don't have the habits of the world, the addictions of the world to pass on this road to heaven, hallelujah. It doesn't allow sin on this road, unforgiveness, self-righteousness, none of that is on this narrow road. Whosoever accepts Jesus Christ as their personal savior enters in and you start walking Walking towards, hallelujah, eternal life. I want eternal life, hallelujah. hallelujah. The Christian life is walking on a narrow path because the world hates Christ. And that's why you're having trouble, young people. The world hates Christ. And he don't want to see you live. The world don't want to see you live for Christ. But in your hearts, hallelujah, you're going to live for Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. Why? Because your parents are teaching you. They're putting that word in you as a young person. Hallelujah. I remember my parents, they put the word in us. They kept, took us to church. They brought us to church. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I praise God for that. It was four of us. Hallelujah. And not a one was lost. Hallelujah. Yeah. I had a brother. Hallelujah. Oh, every night he would kneel on his knees. Hallelujah. He had not submitted uh, to the Lord in full. Oh, but what was raised in him, he would kneel on his knees every night. Oh, God, a, a kneeling of humbleness. Hallelujah. And I thank God that when he passed, hallelujah, oh, Lord, the joy that was on his face. Hallelujah. Bishop and I were were in the room, hallelujah, the joy that came to him. And I praise God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. We have to pick up our cross and follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. We have to pick up our cross, hallelujah. He had a cross, hallelujah. And we also must bear a cross. Must Jesus bear this cross alone and let all the world go free? 
Hallelujah. I tell you, no, hallelujah. There's a cross for you. Yes. Hallelujah. There's a cross for me. I'm picking up my cross. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm doing warfare with the devil. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm putting the word of God on every situation. Oh, God, even in finances. Hallelujah. Oh, he said that my God shall supply all of our needs. Yeah. Hallelujah. I got that one on the devil. Oh, he's going to bring us out. He's going to supply all of our needs oh. according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. To surrender means to deny yourself and follow Jesus, willing to go where he goes. Hallelujah. And one of the things that I love and remember about my parents, they were always concerned about their relatives, mm -hmm. cousins, sisters, brothers. And they would always take us in the car with them as they moved from house to house, praying for their loved ones. Their desire, they were going to reach the ones that they could reach. And I always admired them. So what happened when I grew up to be a young lady, hallelujah, it's still in me, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I will go to the hospitals. I will go to the homes. I am concerned about those that I can reach, mm -hmm. hallelujah. If you do the same thing, we'll reach the world, hallelujah. The world will be ready, hallelujah, to go back with Jesus Christ, yeah. hallelujah. I'm just thankful. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm just thankful to be able to pick up my cross, to know that I have a cross to bear. Yeah. Hallelujah. I might have to go through some things. Hallelujah. But that's my journey. I'm walking. Hallelujah. I'm walking up the King's Highway. Hallelujah. Oh, oh I, might, I might get tired, but I'm walking. For 72 years, I'm, I'm 72 years of age. Hallelujah. But I've known the Lord as my personal Savior for 43 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I've I'm come this far. Hallelujah. I've come this far by faith. Mm -hmm. And you can walk this road of faith. Hallelujah. You can live a joyous life. Hallelujah. And I want to live to be rapture ready. Mm -hmm. Are you rapture ready? Hallelujah. I praise the Lord. And then the Lord said, I can hear him say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And I can hear him say, come, let us reason together. That's to the one that's not saved. Let us reason together. He's such a humble God. He had so much patience in Isaiah 1 and 18. Come now and let us reason together, mm -hmm. said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, hallelujah, they shall be as white as snow. Yes. Though they be red like crimson, mm -hmm. they shall be like wool. Yes. See, Egypt, the Egyptians had Israel in slavery. The Lord delivered. He always delivered Israel. Always. But the Lord was tired, hallelujah, it came to a summons to Israel that it's time that you got to get it right. Now, the prophet Isaiah did find a few, a remnant, that wanted to serve God, mm -hmm. that had not forgotten about God. Mm -hmm. But the Lord was warning Israel, hallelujah, mm -hmm. that we got to reason together. You got to repent. Mm -hmm. And that's all you have to do to get back in fellowship with God. You just have to repent. You have to become sorrowful for your sins. Yes. Hallelujah. That's anyone that's fallen. Yes. But you can get back up. Yes. He just wants you to repent. He wants you to come and let us reason together. Yes. Would you come this morning? Yes. Would you reason with the Lord? Yes. Would you let him wash you white as snow? Yes. Hallelujah. I know there's one out there that's ready to come. They don't know, might not know how to come, but they're ready. Come. That's right. I'll make an exchange with you. That's right. If you confess your sins, mm -hmm. hallelujah, yes. I'm faithful. The Lord say, yes. I'm faithful uh -huh. and I'm just. Mm -hmm. I have forgiveness for you. Yes. I love you. 
Hallelujah. Just like I love the one that's been following me yeah. for a long time. I'm just and I'm faithful and I'll forgive your sins. Yeah. And then I'll cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. Would you come? He's long suffering. Yes, he is. And he's willing to forgive. Yes. He he's tender. He's merciful. Yes. And he loves his people. Mm -hmm. yes. Despite Israel's apostasy, God continues to offer his people forgiveness, complete forgiveness yes. and restoration yes. if they simply return to him and renounce their wicked ways. Yeah. Though your sins be as scarlet, I'll wash you white as snow. Yeah. We have to trust God by acknowledging our sins. It's nothing that we should be ashamed of because we were all born in sin mm -hmm. and shaped in iniquity. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing to getting up and repenting and giving your life to Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. He'll show you things that you've never seen before. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. He'll give you a burning on the inside. Mm -hmm. He'll give you a hunger and a thirst mm -hmm. after righteousness. Yeah. Hallelujah. Matthew 5 and 6, he said, Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness. Yeah. He'll give you a thirst. Hallelujah. Yeah. That you'll want to serve us. Uh, Read your Bible. Yeah. He'll give you a thirst, hallelujah, that you are you can be righteous by studying his word. Yeah. Hallelujah. Meditating on his word. It's a beautiful life. Hallelujah. Wow. We're on our way to a highway to heaven. Hallelujah. We're going to take our time and get there. Hallelujah. Because we are claiming the rapture. One day Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. He's coming in the air. Yeah. Hallelujah. He, he said those that are righteous, be righteous. Yeah. But if you are unjust, Hallelujah. When that day come, he says, stay unjust. Hallelujah. You know, as I was thinking on, um, as I was thinking on the people that uh, saw Jesus before he ascended to heaven. Hallelujah. Jesus was here 40 days on earth before he ascended to heaven. Hallelujah. He did such a quick work. Hallelujah. Jesus did a quick work on earth, 33 years, but he stayed here 40 days, mm -hmm. hallelujah, to reinforce some things mm -hmm. with his disciples and for men and women to see him, that he was a risen savior. And I was thinking about Jesus Christ. He also stayed in the wilderness before he started his earthly ministry for 40 days. He was in the wilderness fasting and praying, submitting to God, yes. building himself up. Oh yes. my God, for the journey that was ahead. Yes. Hallelujah. But the first person to see our risen Savior mm -hmm. after he had risen from the dead, do you know that was Mary Magdalene? Yes. She loved the Lord so. I'm thinking about Mary when she first met Jesus. Hallelujah. She loved the Lord because this is how she met Jesus. Hallelujah. God says, Mary Magdalene, she came to Jesus. And she, the priests and the scribes, they caught her in adultery. This is what happened with Mary. They caught her in adultery and they brought her to Jesus Christ. And they said, this woman has sinned. Mm -hmm. She have been caught in adultery. Mm -hmm. We caught her in the very act. Mm -hmm. And this is why Mary came to the tomb weeping and crying. We caught her in the very act. Mm -hmm. What shall we do, master, with this woman? And Jesus looked at them, he looked around, and he picked up a stone. Mm -hmm. He picked up this stone. Mary will never forget it. Her life was in danger. Mm -hmm. He picked up his stone and he said, he that is without sin, yeah. let him cast yeah. 
the first stone. Mm -hmm. And they began to walk away, hallelujah, mm -hmm. because they had sins. Jesus began to write on the dirt, hallelujah, they had sins. So Mary loved Jesus. Oh, she just praised and worshiped the Lord. So at the uh, tomb, she came to anoint his body. And she came and she looked around, hallelujah. She looked around for her savior. She went and looked into the sepulcher, but he was not there. She began to weep because she did not know where her savior was. She wept and she wept. Hallelujah. And then uh, Jesus came to her. She did not recognize him. But when he said Mary, mm -hmm. hallelujah, she knew that it was Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And he said, touch me not, mm -hmm. for I have not ascended to my father. Mm -hmm. But go and tell my disciples that I'm risen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So I'm just praying, it's so, it's so grateful for what God has done. So Mary Magdalene was the first. I'm thinking also of two men, hallelujah, and they was on the way to Emmaus, Emmaus, hallelujah. And they uh, was weeping and walking and sad, and Jesus came up to them, mm -hmm. and they knew not who he was. Mm -hmm. He came walking uh, towards them. And they talk with him, and they begin to tell him the story of what had just happened. Hallelujah, how Jesus of Nazareth was crucified. Mm -hmm. And they asked Jesus, could they, he come to their home with them? And I'm cutting the story. And Jesus went with them, but he discussed the word of God with them. Mm -hmm. And at the end, when he was at the table breaking bread, he broke bread with them. And they realized there's something about the way Jesus broke bread. Yeah. It's something about the voice of the Lord, hallelujah, that will transform a life, hallelujah. It's something about coming to Jesus just as you are. Yeah. I remember when I first got saved, hallelujah. Oh God, what a change. I could feel the spirit of the Lord that gave me new birth, hallelujah. Yeah. So he told them, after they realized who he was, he told them, to go and tell his disciples. Mm -hmm. And they returned and told the 11, hallelujah, about what they had seen and that Jesus Christ has yes. risen. Yes. Aren't you glad he risen today? Yes. Oh, yes, Lord. And they began to, um, you know, Jesus appeared to many others, mm -hmm. hallelujah. And at one time, Jesus break bread again with his disciples. Yes. Oh, I praise God, and I just want you to be ready when the Lord comes. Hallelujah, because he's coming. Oh, he said he's coming. Oh, I want you to look upon uh, Revelations. Let's go mm -hmm. to Revelations. All right. Yes, Lord. Revelations 22, 12 through 13. Mm -hmm. I want you to keep in your mind that he's coming back again. He's coming. He's coming hallelujah. He's coming, and we don't want to be caught with our works undone. Revelation 22, 12 through 13 say, And behold, I come quickly, yeah. and my reward is with me, mm -hmm. to give every man according to what his work shall be. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I am the Alpha, mm -hmm. and I am the Omega. Mm -hmm. I am the beginning, and I am the end. Yeah. I am the first. And I am the last. Yes. There was four things he was trying to tell his people. Hallelujah. He Number one, he wants you to know that he's coming. Yes. He wants you to know that he's coming. Yes. Number two, his coming is going to be quickly. Yes. You're going to look up and behold, there he is. Hallelujah. Yes. Number three, he's not going to give you an announcement that he's coming. Hallelujah. Number four, we are to be ready. Praise God. And I think most would agree that the primary commandment that the Lord left to his disciples is the Great Commission. Mm -hmm. And you'll find that in, in Mark, in Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Yeah. The Great Commission. And yeah. Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, 
all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with thee always, even into the ends of the earth. And he told his disciples, but he told you and me mm -hmm. to make disciples of all nations, yes. to baptize them in the name of the Father, yes. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes. To teach them to observe all things yes. whatsoever I have commanded you. Yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Whatsoever I have commanded you, teach them. Yes. Hallelujah. In Acts 1, 4, 4, in Acts 1, 4 through 8. And we see in Jesus commanding them to wait in Jerusalem. That's when he was going to send the Holy Ghost. He told them to wait, hallelujah, for the promise of the Holy Ghost. He said, hallelujah, John baptized with water. But he said, I'm going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Wait in the upper room for the calling of the Lord. Yeah. Oh, let's look at a few other key things. Hallelujah. Oh, I just tell you that I, I am just ready. Hallelujah. I want you to be ready. He said on this road to heaven, it's broad. It's narrow on the road to heaven. Oh, the world road of the world is broad. He said, my desire is for you to sit in my kingdom. Yeah. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. And as they, as Jesus dis began to ascend up into heaven, he was able to appear and disappear. And that's the kind of body we're going to have. But as he was descending, ascending up into heaven, hallelujah, he told his people hallelujah oh he told his people to he wanted his disciples to spread the good news of jesus christ and that's what we're doing today we're walking up the heavens highway hallelujah oh trying to tell somebody about a jesus christ hallelujah we're saying it with joy oh yes lord the time is now it's time for you to get on the highway to heaven. Hallelujah. Yeah. Enjoy your life, but enjoy it in Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's a highway, huh? Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. I'm so glad. You know, on that highway to heaven, hallelujah, one day, All right. one day, hallelujah, we're going to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. He's coming back in his glory. I'm going to catch him in the rapture. Hallelujah. He's coming back in his glory. Yes, oh, but he's going to bring our loved ones back with him. Yeah. Oh, my sister, First Lady Robinson, yeah. Pastor Eddie Robinson. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to see him again. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, that's why he said, don't weep. Hallelujah. Oh, because I know where they are. But I got to strive to be where my sister is. Yeah. I got to strive to be where my brother is. Hallelujah. Yeah. My brother, Lieutenant Jones Jr. Yeah. Oh, it's a highway. Yeah. Oh, bless Lord. I got a nephew, Brother Andre. Hallelujah. It's a highway to heaven. Oh, he made it easy for us. He'll forgive sin. Hallelujah. He'll make you white as snow. He'll wash you. Yeah. Hallelujah. In the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, somebody can't understand how you got there. But if you like the thief on the cross, hallelujah. If you can mumble the words, Lord, remember me. Yeah. When you come into your kingdom, yeah. I don't care if you lived a sinful life, but don't wait till the last minute. But know this. If you can humble yourself and say, Lord, remember me. Yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, it's like someone hitting a home run. Hallelujah. It's like the other baseman coming into uh, third base and first base and second base and home run. If you accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, 
you made a home run. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You made a home run. Yeah. Oh, I'm walking up the King's Highway. Yeah. I'm walking up the King's Highway. Yeah. Give our service. Oh, I'm walking. I'm not tired. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to love everybody. I'm going to treat everybody right because I'm walking. Yeah. I'm walking, hallelujah, Bishop Lorenzo Coleman. See, I'm walking. Oh, I'm walking along with my husband up the King's Highway. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to continue to live this life. Hallelujah. We're going to continue to walk in the beauty of holiness. Yes. I'm walking. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Pastor Lois G. Coleman. We are walking of the King's Highway, and we are walking together. I want you to know that on this highway, there is love, joy, peace. Oh, on this highway, oh, the highway to heaven. It is a highway. It is a way. But it's a choice also. The word of God says, choose ye this day whom ye shall serve. And Joshua said, but as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Amen. On this highway, we must serve the Lord. All the time, it's not uh, easy. Sometimes we have to cry sometimes. But there is a song said that uh, I got to cry sometime. But Jesus will fix it. On this highway, when we depend on him, when we lean and depend on him, give him our life. Glory to God. He will be there. He said he will never leave us or forsake us. Oh, glory to God. What a promise. What a promise. He will never leave us or forsake us. That's awesome. Sometimes, amen, we know that people mean good, but sometimes when uh, the going gets tough, amen, and then they forget about what they said and they go. But Jesus said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So be encouraged today. Be thou strong in the Lord on today. Remain on that highway to heaven. Keep walking up the king's highway. And let me say that if, 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 God forbid, it's happening every day, but if, you happen to stumble, to slip, listen, don't stay down. Because the word of God has already made provision that if we sin, we have an advocate, uh, which is Jesus Christ. See, if, that means that you don't just willfully sin, but what if it accidentally it, it slips up in a weak moment? Well, that's why our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ suffered, died, stayed in the grave three days as he said he would. And then early on that third day morning, he got up with all power of heaven and earth in his hand. He had all of that power just for us. Paying the price for our sins. Oh, we know that there are sins of omission, sins of commission, but don't you know that Jesus has paid the price for them all. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, and I'm glad about it. 
I'm glad that I have a keeper. I don't look to sin, but I have a keeper that can keep me from sin. And those of you today that are listening to this broadcast on Facebook or on the teleconference line, know that you can be free. You can be free. I know somebody is saying, who, me? Yes, you. There is nothing too hard for God. He made the way. He made the way that we could get on this highway and that we can stay on this highway to heaven. Glory to God. And I can testify myself that after 53 years and four months, I can testify that the Lord will keep you on this highway. Glory to God. Now, I'm not saying that I never got weak. I never sinned in 53 years. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that I am so glad that I have a Savior that have put, taken on sin, taken on the sins of the world, and we don't have to sin no more. Oh, glory to God for his goodness and for all of his love and kindness. I just wanted to have uh, some comments because I'm a pastor, my heart did burn today. As I listened to how she expounded on the word of God, amen, I can feel how uh, the two men on the uh, road of uh, Emmaus, when Jesus, uh, oh, when he was speaking to them, uh, and they said, uh, Oh, did not our heart burn. Glory to God. I can understand that. I can relate to that. Amen. Because surely my heart did burn today by listening to this awesome word of God. And I'm glad that Pastor Lewis is my wife because preaching that kind of Word, she has to be living that kind of word to preach that kind of word. And I want you to know if she wasn't living it, I wouldn't even let her get up here and preach like that if she wasn't living it. But I'm glad that she's living everything that she preaches. I'm so glad today for all of you again that uh, listened to us on today, that shared, uh, amen, uh, this message that uh, our pastor brought forth uh, on today. We want to say to you, thank you. Thank you so much. This uh, is the uh, resurrection season, and uh, this is a special season, and uh, our pastor always enjoy especially this time of the year because uh, she always uh, celebrated at the church the Miracle House of Prayer the uh, Good Friday night service uh, we are so honored to have uh, Bishop uh, Ricky Gordon and uh, First Lady Jackie Gordon always come down Friday night for the Good Friday night service and spend the weekend here in the city of Houston uh, and then on uh, Sunday morning, uh, resurrection morning, they uh, with us at the church and uh, Bishop Gordon brings the Sunday morning message for about the last seven years and I would be remiss if I didn't uh, mention how we appreciate him uh, leaving his church in Dallas, Texas, the Wise Fisherman Church, and coming 
to celebrate the resurrection uh, uh, season with uh, the Miracle House of Prayer, Pastor Lois and myself. I'm so grateful for that. So we are grateful for you. We are grateful for how the Lord has blessed us on this day. And I want to say to you all, be encouraged. Be encouraged. The Lord uh, is moving for you. Whatever situation that you are in, be encouraged. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. The Lord will fix whatever that situation is. Just give it to him. The word of God says, is there anything too hard for God? And then the final word, God says, no, nothing. There's nothing too hard for God. Keep that in mind. Even as we go into the next week, keep that in mind that there's nothing too hard for God. Uh, uh, there's some problems uh, with getting the homes remodeled and getting the homes fixed. Listen, trust God. Let the Lord make the way out of no way. Don't worry about this and that and whether you can do this and whether you can do that. But trust the Lord. Praise God. And the Lord will make a way out of no way for you. Praise God. Now, precious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Lord, for the word of God that our pastor brought on today. Now, Lord God, even uh, those that are out there that are listening, Lord, uh, if they are not on the highway to heaven, Lord, pierce their heart right now. In the name of Jesus, uh, touch them and let them know that you can put them on the highway to heaven uh, and you can keep them there, uh, all of us on the highway of heaven, uh, until you come back for your church. Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, those of you that are out there, don't know the Lord in the pardon of your sin. Uh, I want you to say with me right now and believe in your heart that the Lord will save you today. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Forgive me for all sins of omission. Forgive me for all the sins of commission. Cleanse my mind and I shall live the life of holiness as you give me strength. In the mighty name of Jesus. And just as you said that prayer, meaning it from your heart, then the Lord has already accepted your prayer. He's already accepted that you are saved now. You're no longer a sinner. Glory to God. And that the Lord Jesus Christ will keep you on the highway to heaven. Praise God. We bless the Lord. We glorify the Lord. Amen. On today. We thank you for your attentive ear on today. We thank the Lord for what he is doing in this day and in this hour. I'd like to say to you, be encouraged in the Lord. People of God, stay on the highway and encourage someone else to get on the highway. Don't go to heaven all by yourself. Glory to God. But pull somebody, drag somebody along with you. Glory to God. Uh, we'll say again, uh, by all means, means be a blessing again to us at the Miracle House of Prayer on our cash app of dollar sign MHPTC. May the Lord bless you and until next Sunday at 11 a.m. Central Time, this is your Bishop and Pastor Coleman saying to you, we are marching to greater in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah.